Hi everyone, my name is Elon Yogev. This is joint work with Daniel Lukra and Iftar Heitner. So this talk is about low bounds on snarls in the random oracle model. So let me give you, give you a brief introduction. So what are snarls in our succinct non-interactive arguments in the random oracle model? So this is uh, a prover and a verifier. The prover wants to convince the verifier that some instances in the language. So he sends a single short message pi to convince the verifier. And they both have access to a truly random function. So this is the random function. This is a truly random function that outputs lambda bits. And the security we have in this model is security against query bounded provers that even might be computationally unbounded. So more formally, we have T epsilon security, meaning that for any X not in the language, any T query may be potentially unbounded adversary. So this is an adversary that performs at most T queries to the random oracle, but other than that, computationally can be unbounded. So for any such prover, the probability that this prover outputs pi that makes the verifier accept is at most epsilon. And epsilon can be a function of, of T and lambda. So this is the, the security definition of snugs in the random oracle model. Why do we study the random oracle model? So it's a very simple, information theoretic model it talks about probabilities of the random oracle. There's no computational assumptions here. Uh, there's beautiful constructions that we'll, we, that we'll talk about. It actually supports lower bounds as this talk suggested. So we can prove unconditional lower bounds about constructions. Uh, and finally, you can take the ROM heuristic where you place the random oracle with some specific lightweight uh, cryptographic hash function, for example, SHA-256. And what you get is a, a candidate construction, a heuristic construction, which is fast to compute, so it doesn't involve all this uh, heavy crypto, okay, only on applying lightweight uh, hash function. There's no trusted setup. And the construction you get is actually a potentially post-quantum secure, okay, as we don't have any quantum advantages over general hash functions. And this thing is actually widely used in, in practice, okay? So what constructions do we have? So we have the Mikali and BCS construction. The Mikali is based on PCPs and BCS is based on uh, IOPs. Both of them take this information theoretic proof and compile them to a snog. But the proof size in both of them is the same. So the proof size, the size of the snog that you need to send to the verifier is log t over epsilon squared. Okay, and here I'm hitting uh, some lower order terms, okay, in this old tilde. So t is the running time of the cheating prover and epsilon is its success probability. Uh, in a recent work with uh, myself and Alessandro Chiesa, we actually showed a variant of this construction that achieves log t over epsilon times log t. Okay, so slightly sub-quadratic. And if I put it on a scale, then we have the Mikali, we have the CY, CY construction, and then we have a trivial like folklore row bound of log t over epsilon. But between these two, this is wide open. Okay, and this leads us uh, exactly to the result of this paper, which is um, actually the first non-trivial lower bound on snarls. So assuming randomized ETH, any natural ROM snarl construction, so any natural construction, and I'm gonna talk about this in a second, okay, that has T epsilon soundness, must have a proof size of this. So log T over epsilon times log T over log Q, where Q is the, is the running time of the honest prover, the number of queries the honest prover performs. Okay, so this is our main theorem. Uh, I'll already say that as a corollary, okay, you get a, a low bound on subject of commitments. Okay, so uh, sim similar uh, with the similar uh, natural flavor. So if you had a, a, a subject of commitment in the random oracle model, you would put it inside Mikali and get a, a snarl that contradicts this theorem. Okay, what are natural constructions? So, uh, two requirements. First, it's a non adaptive ver uh, verifier. So, this means that the verifier performs its queries to the random oracle in a non adaptive manner. Okay, it sends all the queries at once and gets all the responses. And uh, two, some slightly stronger soundness notion called solid soundness, uh, where you're welcome to see the full talk to understand exactly what this is. Uh, but the point is that all non construction. Okay, that we have actually satisfy our natural. They satisfy this condition, these conditions. Okay, and just to put it on the final slide, so we provide this lower bound, which is almost tight with the, the, the upper bound of CY, okay, up to this uh, log n and log q factors. 
Um, okay, thank you, and please go to see the, the full talk.